I gotta put my scream mask down a minute. Nobody touch them, nobody touch them. Right, guys here we go store number 51 in Paducah Kentucky spirit Halloween in an old Hobby Lobby look at this you can clearly see where it used to say Hobby Lobby up there it's almost like one of those puzzles where you're looking at the spirit Halloween sign but if you focus just a little bit different you can see that it says Hobby Lobby and this place is hopping today guys this entire parking lot is full of people all right guys let's head in and see what Halloween awesomeness we can find behind these doors in Paducah Kentucky thank you automatic doors yes I love when I come in and employees are dressed up for Halloween it is so cool and Halloweeny look at this before we even go anywhere else, guys, look at what my eyes do see in front of me. It is a purple metallic ghost face mask. I have been looking everywhere for these guys. Everywhere meaning 50 other stores. Oh, holy crap, and look what's hiding behind this one. It's the blue mask. Somebody done put this one in the wrong place. So right off the bat, you guys know, I, wait a minute, wait a moment, they're hiding them. What is going on here in Paducah, Kentucky? Here is the chrome mask too. They have all three. And of course they have the devil face and the light up masks as well. And they have the regular one and they have the viper mask, but these are the three that I care about right here. This chrome ghost face mask is so awesome. I love how this is made out of a hard plastic, so it actually holds its shape. Because if you look at the purple and the blue one, they are the softer plastic, and they get bent like this. So I'm gonna buy them, but I have to find a way to pop that out of there and then get it to actually stay so that it looks more like this. All right, guys, purple and blue. I got them, the best looking ones on the rack. Let's go over here and see who we can now say hi to. Oh my gosh, this place is absolutely crazy. Let's say hello to Lord Farquaad. Light up your eyes and say something we can't hear. Good job. Let's say hello to the possessed pumpkin. Hello to Possessedy. You can always hear him in every store. He has been super loud. All right, let's go on over here. It looks like there's nobody around Grimm right now, so let's say hello to Mr. Grimm. Hello to Mr. Grimm. He is super loud in here too, holy crap. All right, let's move on. Where can we go next? Maybe over here to the bog zombie. Hello, Mr. Boggy. All right, say hello. That'll do. All right, we got Mr. Punchy over here, Mr. Half a Head. I just gotta look, is his head? Okay, on this one, the back of his hair is actually puffed out. So it looks like he has a whole head. But on a few of the other ones, I don't know if it just like gets pushed in or what, but it looks like he only has half a head. Oh, and we got Shorty over here. Hello, Shorty. He's going, but I don't hear him making any sound. Oh yeah, he's just very, very quiet. All right, let's move on over to the Tombstone of Terror. There he is. You are such a good scarer, Mr. Tombstone of Terror. Scarer and terror. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm such a nerd. All right, yeah, we can go through here now. The tunnel of death with bubbles of death. We got one, two, three, four tubes of tubbles. Tubbles of death, we have tubbles of death in here, guys. Bubbles of death. All right, let's check out Mr. Crouchy here with the hairdo. I would love to come into a store and see a Crouchy with rollers in his hair. 
We got Barry over here headbanging this crazy guy. All right, we got a handful of tiny terrors over here. We have Slim, Spiky, Pennywise, Sam, and Billy Butcherson on the bottom there. This store is pretty dang stocked, guys. We got the Killer Clowns inflatable, the Ghost Face inflatable. We have the Michael Myers string lights, Sam greeters, and a Chucky greeter. Whoa, what in the world is this? I wonder why they have this stuff here. This is stuff that you find in like Walmart and Target. I gotta put my screen mask down a minute. Nobody touch them, nobody touch them. All right, we got Elvira here. We have a Pennywise, the Toonie Terrors. We have Ghostface, oh my gosh, that is tempting. We have another Pennywise here, more Ghostface, Nightmare on Elm Street. How are you doing? All right. <laughs> Look at Freddy, what in the world? We got a Friday the 13th right here, new blood. Oh my gosh, look at that guy. He is so total. I cannot believe they have these here. All right, look at this. We got a Halloween 2. Let's take it off and rack. Oh man, people are like yanking on them and ripping them. Let's open it up and check it out. Check it out. Ultimate Michael Myers. I'm so excited I can't even talk. Holy crap, that is awesome. And I love how it comes with the carved jack-o-lantern. And then we have a couple of ghost faces here too. All right, I gotta look at this. Hold on, I gotta look. Ultimate ghost face action figure. Oh my gosh, that is so awesome. There's such a reflection, you can't see it very well. $36.99 and $16.99. So I would assume these are the $36.99 and these are the $16.99s. Wow, I gotta take a break here for a second, guys. I can't even breathe. Holy crap, look at this. Oh my gosh, I crack myself up. Look at this, guys. I haven't seen these in stores this year. The Pennywise Light Up Balloon. Where's the button there? Oh, look at that. That would make a sweet side table lamp. All right, I gotta put these down for a second. Nobody touch them, nobody touch them. All right, we have this guy down here that I have to look at. Talking pumpkin door knocker. Let's see if we can get him going. Please, ah, oh, the batteries are dying, so he just flashes at us. But look at this, we also have the slim wall plaque, and he works. Pretty dang cool. Oh, and we got the Crouchy statues too. I have not bought one of these. They were supposed to send me one from being at the grand opening of Flagship, but they didn't. So maybe it's still in the mail with the check. <laughs> All right, let's journey back here for a second and see if we can get these guys going. We got nozzles here. I'm still thinking about the nozzles we saw in the last store where he had a big bald patch on top of his head. I hear you, Mr. Nose. All right, let's see if we can get Lucky Bottoms going here. It's because of his butt. All right, let's see. We got jumping skelly bones. I hear him, here he comes, I hear him. There he is right in front of the creeping cat. This guy just hangs around, creeping around the other animatronics, getting secrets to tell the secret-keeping cat. Then we got the straw man here. I think, yeah, he's on the sensor. You can't even hear what these guys are saying because it's so absolutely insane in here today. This is awesome. This is how I love to see the stores. We got this little chick here, Betty Sharp. Tell us something. Okay, she's not telling, but her bag is moving. So the secret is, she killed someone. Look at this, there's another one here. Another one hanging around exchanging secrets with the jumping spider. Oh, you thought I didn't see you down there. Hello, rat. Let's go through the electric tunnel of death. Is it going to kill us today? Well, I hear it trying to kill us. Are you going to kill me? I think so. We have a fogging skull pile right outside here. And we have this ginormous tentacle mover right here. Look at how huge that guy is. Let's leave some stickers for Lucky Bottoms there. Oh my gosh, guys, they have a lot of stuff in this store. Let's look at these animatronics here. We have a Lord Raven. We have a Possessed Pumpkin. We have a Grim. It looks like we have two Grims, a Berry, two Nozzles, one Monty. We got another Possessed Pumpkin back here. We got a Reagan over here. We got a Punchy, a Deadly Creeper. Experiment number four. What the heck? What is he doing here this year? 
We got a little skelly bones right beside him. And look at this. We have another experiment number four. What the heck? I'd like to take this moment to say you're welcome, Spirit Halloween, that you don't have a whole bunch of Johnny Punks in your stores. All right. We have a whole bunch of creepy dolls that we have not seen in too many other stores. Look at this. We got Uncle Charlie here. We got the creepy baby doll. Eerie Emma. Decrepit Donna. The vintage Wolfman. Hugs the clown. Yes. We have the pumpkin nester and the vintage clown doll. Look at this, we have the hook head hog, but I do not see the hook eye guy. We have zombie babies, including the burrito baby, and look who's on the bottom, holy crap. All right, I gotta put these down again. Nobody touch them, nobody touch them. We have the two headed cat dog. A couple people have sworn to me that this is two dogs, but I know better. This is a dog and a cat, it's a cat dog. It's a dog head, it's a cat head, it's dog paws and a cat tail. It's a cat dog. And look what we have right here, guys. The Halloween ends mask. Not only have I found these two awesome ghost face masks, the Halloween ends mask. What is that, like foam on his face? It's pretty cool looking, but it's honestly not my favorite. Maybe I'll like it after I see the movie. I think this one from 2018 remains one of my favorites. Here's that secret keeping cat. Let's leave some stickers in the bucket. And of course, they have a ton of jumping spiders and my voice just cracked like a 13 year old boy. Look at this, they even have the purple and the blue screen masks over here in the kids section, as well as the chrome ghost face. And that is much smaller than the regular one. Here's a glow in the dark ghost face mask. And I gotta say, that actually looks pretty dang good. All right, let's go up here and see if there's anything else we need to see before we go. This is a big, busy store today, guys. We've seen a lot of awesome stuff. I love how most of this is like horror type stuff. And then you get over here and they have the Pixar monsters. I've been looking for the perfect glass or mug to have cider with my donuts and I just haven't found it yet. Not that they don't have an enormous selection, but I just, I don't know. As soon as one strikes me, I'll get it. I like the ghost face mug but I don't even think I want that one for it. I even thought about one of these tumblers, but I don't know. I just can't find one that I really, really want. <whistles> Guys, what an awesome store that was. Paducah, Kentucky, y'all done it right. <laughs>